Hey everybody, Bezad here, and today I'm gonna to walk you through the brand new Fall Winter 2023 collection. We've got a lot of jeans to talk about, and we're gonna start off with this guy right here. This is the new Army Twill Denim, a 10.2 ounce military reproduction fabric. It's got this rugged, cool look to it. I would say rugged cool because it's got that army style. And if you take a close look at it, it's not a typical denim twill. It's actually a herringbone twill. So you've got a little bit of a mix of left hand twill and right hand twill going on at the same time. A great indigo alternative. I mean, it'll fit into your denim wardrobe, no problem. Anytime you're kind of getting a little bit of a uh, tired of indigo jeans, throw these on and you'll be happy with them. And, and these guys are going to be available in not just the jeans, but also in the char coat. So you've got two ways to enjoy this fabric. Okay, up next, we've got the solid black comfort stretch. This is actually the brother to the blue comfort stretch, which we just released. This has been a very, very popular model, 14 ounce power stretch denim with incredible stretch properties. And if you remember this, uh, it has very, very, uh, has a lot of stretch on the horizontal axis. So it stretches a lot with you, but it snaps back to shape 14 ounces. So it feels like classic denim. And now we have it in the all black color. So if you've been a fan of the indigo version, now you've got an all black version to enjoy. So that's the solid black comfort stretch. We're gonna get to some blue jeans, I promise. But, uh, but first, the new camel slub denim. We've been seeing a big, Hmm, surge in popularity in Ecru denim. So things like what I'm wearing right now, this is the raw cotton slub from uh, the spring summer 2022 collection. And we just wanted to have a more fall kind of version of this. So we have this uh, warm tone, we call it a camel color. It's also quite slubby. So when you take a closer look at the fabric, you can see it's got a lot of great character built into that as well. It's got a nice red line selvage ID. So great to flip up the cuff and show that off. And then these ones weigh in at 13 ounces. So classic denim weight, rigid, indigo alternative color, and uh, great for the fall winter. And, and it also comes in a denim jacket, which we have right here. And this is a great option to go with your blue jeans. So while on the bottom, it might be a day off from your blue jeans, this really goes well with blue jeans for those people who are a little bit shy to wear indigo on top and indigo on bottom, you know, doing the whole Canadian tuxedo thing. Personally, I don't mind, I'm Canadian, I'm born for that, that's my national uh, heritage dress, but not for everybody. But when you get into a, uh, a contrasting color on top, it makes it a lot easier to wear. So uh, consider that one as well. And for our denim jackets, if I can get it open, we also have the selvage ID right here on the inside. Cool. Okay, next. Elephant 12. So this is the 12th, iteration of our elephant series. Super heavyweight, 20 ounce denim. This is a big slub, broken twill denim in the super heavyweight form. This is essentially, if you remember our elephant five, this is a broken twill version of our elephant five. And the thing about heavyweight broken twill denim is that it's actually quite rare. You don't really see it very often. And you really don't see slubby broken twill options out there at all. So now we have slubby, Broken twill, heavyweight, all mixed into one. I think it's gonna make a very, very beautiful fading jean. And the Elephant 5 definitely is one of our best fading elephant series out there. It was our first slubby elephant denim. So I think a lot of people who might've missed out on the Elephant 5 will be able to enjoy this in the exact same way, or at least a very, very similar way. So you can see a lot of uh, you know deep indigo penetration points, lighter indigo penetration points. You've got that classic red line selvage ID. And you also have that thick veg tan leather patch. And like most iterations of uh, the newer elephant models, we do have this available also in the denim jacket. So if you wanna go full denim uh, elephant armor, you definitely can do that. So 20 ounces, heavyweight, broken twill, big slub. Okay. Next. Very weird jean. This one comes in, let me just double check, um, at 10 ounces, although it feels a little bit heavier. This is a, a weirder jean for sure. Dark indigo on the top, and then you'll notice it gets greener 
as it goes down the leg. Now, this isn't achieved through some kind of washing technique or anything. This is actually woven this way. So it's woven on a jacquard loom that is able to flip the warp yarn. So the, you can see it's dark indigo on the, uh, on the outside here, green here, and then it flips it midway through and you get the exact opposite. So quite interesting, definitely one of the weirdest fabrics we've ever come across. And uh, not your typical raw denim, but uh, if you want something unusual, then this is certainly the pair for you. Uh, so from dark indigo to green, this is the gradient denim coming in at 12 ounces. No, sorry, I uh, forgot. That's 10 ounces, but it feels a little bit heavier. I wouldn't be surprised if it was actually more like a 10 and a half, 11, but uh, don't quote me on that. Okay, you should quote me on that. Anyways, when we have the product copy, it'll be the correct product copy. Um, next, very excited for this pair. This is gonna be limited to about 500 pairs, so a smaller production run, but one of my favorite denim fabrics that we've ever run in Naked and Famous. This is our indigo green cast denim coming in at 15 ounces. It is a dark indigo denim with a little bit of green added to the dye. So you can see it's not your typical dark blue. It has this greenish, tone to it. It's reminiscent of what indigo looks like very early in the indigo dyeing process. However, the way that we achieve this color is a little bit different. So basically it goes through the rope dye process. The yarns are dyed with indigo and then they're dyed again in a green bath that tints the blue green. And man, this fabric has just got so much character. You can see it's quite neppy. You can see that there's lots of indigo like high and low concentration points and the color is just so unique and special. And you can even see on the inside, it's quite neppy as well. So you've got all this beautiful texture to it. Now, we used to run this fabric in our MIJ series. This was the MIJ3, one of, the, one of my favorites, as I mentioned. And this is actually my pair that I wore, and you can see just how beautifully they faded. They really, really fade incredibly well. And you don't see a lot of green cast denim out there on the market. So I think people are gonna be excited for this one. I'm excited to have this one back and uh, I'm excited to see how you guys can fade these. It's been a long time since we've ran this fabric. So uh, I'm very, very happy to have it back. And you can see the comparison here. Cool. Okay, let's put those back. And we have next, a herringbone denim. So an unusual twill, not your typical denim twill, just like the army twill, which was a herringbone fabric. It's a mix of left-hand twill and right-hand twill. So you, when you take a close look at it, you can see there's uh, something different. It doesn't look like your typical pair of jeans. And you especially will notice it when you flip up the cuff and you look inside and you can see that herringbone pattern there as well. So I like to call this one a cuff flipper. It's got tonal stitching. Weight on this one is 11 ounces. Let me just double check that. Um, but 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 11.2 ounces. So uh, I was almost right. Um, so classier look with the tonal thread and just that unusual denim twill. So uh, something a little bit different for those who are looking for something a little bit different and out there. And this twill is gonna show up a lot more as the denim fades. So I'm really looking forward to see how you guys fade this one out there. Next, kimono print denim. 12 and a half ounce weight. I gotta double check that. And I'm right, good for me. Uh, 12 and a half ounce weight and very, very soft. You can see that this fabric is not particularly rigid at all. It's got a nice drape to it right away, but the main event of this denim is actually on the inside where we have this kimono print. Now, the thing is the sample was actually printed uh, incorrectly. It'll be mostly a navy base and where you see the navy lines here is gonna be printed in white. So it'll be much more reminiscent of our previous kimono print denim options. So anyways, I'll have a picture of that on the screen here, but uh, you will still get that same exterior that's gonna be nice and soft. And of course, when you flip up that cuff, you show off that kimono print, show off that red line selvage ID. And there's something special about this kimono print um, because Risa, my lovely wife, designed the print herself and it's actually a repeating print of a lot of different kimono patterns here. So it's a whole mix. So I think it's really, really neat and special. All right, and that's the kimono print 
denim. You know, one thing I forgot to mention about the herringbone twill denim was that it was also available in a denim jacket. Sorry, it was also available in a chore coat. So we've got the chore coat right here. So just keep that in mind. So if you, if you want to enjoy it as jeans or you want to enjoy it as a classic chore coat, you've got two options here. Okay. Next, king of slub. This returns. This is not the correct sample. This is the original King of Slub, the 23 ounce slubbiest denim ever made. We spent two years developing the yarn for this denim to make this unbelievably textured fabric. Now, the sampling will be ready soon, but it'll be very, very similar to the original in the sense that we're gonna use the exact same warp yarns. The inside yarns for production will be beige, so it'll be a much more warm toned denim compared to the original white backed indigo denim. And uh, I mean, a lot of people have had such great experience fading this denim. It's one of our best faders I think we've ever produced. I say that about a lot of jeans, but we produce, we produce a lot of beautifully fading jeans. Now you can see it right here, just how beautiful that fade. So heavyweight, slubby, unsamphorized. So this is a shrink to fit model. It will be sized accordingly. So they'll be made a little bit bigger, a little bit longer, and we will have the measurement guides on the website uh, before these come out so that you know what size to get when you when you purchase them. So um, Yeah, king of slub 2 glad to have it back I don't have the sample of the denim jacket, but it will also be available in a denim jacket So if you want to go like super slubby denim hardcore armor You've got uh, you've got another option here. You got the elephant and you got the king of slub Okay, next one This is the pagoda denim 16 ounces, I'm pretty sure, 15 ounces, rigid. Now this is a particularly rigid fabric. If you like our Okayama Spirit series, this is in the same realm of fabric, I would say. Quite rigid, dark, dark, dark indigo. You can see it's got this beautiful gradation because it is made using a slub yarn. So you do have those uh, high contrast and low contrast, you know, indigo penetration points in the fabric. But when you take a real close look at the fabric, you'll notice that it's a very, very warm tone, yellow even. And you'll see that through the twill lines of the fabric. And the reason why you see that is because the inside is dyed with a natural dye called a pagoda dye. And that's derived from a Japanese tree called the pagoda tree. They collect the buds, they create this natural dye. It has this beautiful warm tone and we use that on the inside. And we've had a lot of success with our natural toned, warm toned denims. So we're continuing that tradition. Got that great classic red line selvage ID here as well. For production, the sample doesn't have the right patch. Uh, it has the cardboard patch, but for production, it'll have a veg tan leather patch. I don't know if some keen eyed individuals might notice that, but yeah, the sample has the incorrect patch, but very, very beautiful denim, rigid. It's got that warm tone, great for the fall, great to flip up the cuff with boots, a great cuff flipper. So that's the Pagoda denim. Next, we've got very luxurious denim. This is the Sea Island Cotton Selvage. Now this is made with 100% Sea Island Cotton. Sea Island Cotton comes from the Caribbean and it is a long staple fiber. The outside, for, first thing you'll notice, they're not particularly rigid. So they've got a great drape to them as uh, right off the bat, so they'll be very comfortable, but they're very comfortable for a multitude of reasons. And you know, the outside is very, very, very smooth. The inside is also very, very, very smooth. The Sea Island Cotton is a long staple fiber. It makes them smooth and luxurious feeling, very, very comfortable right off the bat. And because it's a long staple fiber, it also makes them extra durable. So whether you wanna wear these like dressed up, you know, these are just your clean dark indigo jeans, or you wanna wear these to destruction, you wanna beat them up and fade them out, these are gonna handle it, you know, either way. So I think it's a, it's a pretty cool jean in that respect that it's both a luxurious and super durable. Sometimes you don't get the mix of the two uh, together, but uh, yeah, comfortable and durable Sea Island Cotton Selvage. They come weighing in at 12 and a half, Sea Island Cotton, sorry, 14 ounces. And uh, yeah, so uh, a nice fall weight. Okay, next. We've got the 
Slub Stretch Selvage Denim. This is a return of a classic. I don't remember when we originally released these, but we've released this fabric in many, many different variations over the years. We did the Sakura Slub Stretch Selvage, the Dragon Ball series with made, uh, the Goku and the Cell Jeans, the Street Fighter with the Ryu and the Ken. They were made with the same fabric base. It was running the same Indigo Warp, but oftentimes with different weft colors. Now we're bringing back the original Indigo Warp white back white inside denim. So slubby, 12 and a half ounce weight, 2% stretch. So a little bit of stretch, not a crazy amount, but enough that makes it that you really don't have any break in time with these jeans. They're gonna fade beautifully. They have faded beautifully, all the different iterations of them. So we're just bringing back the classic for those who want something with that original tone. And you've got that nice, uh, it has a actually a faint pink uh, selvage ID here. Uh, it might be hard to notice, but uh, it's in there, like a vintage style pink. Like, a, like basically, when we do pink selvage IDs like that, it's kind of to represent vintage jeans because they were red line, and then over time, over the years, wash wear and all that stuff, it becomes pink. Anyways, that's why we have it a little faint pink like that. So that is the slub stretch selvage denim. And then one more option here. And this is another return of a classic. This is the Sumi ink coated selvage. It looks black. It is black, but it's not exactly black. So this is, it starts its life off as an indigo coated rope dyed denim. Sorry, an indigo rope dyed denim. Then it is coated with a black calligraphy ink. And you'll notice whenever you see a black denim that has a white inside, usually it's kind of gray because you see that white weft peeking through the twill lines. You don't see that here because the coating just absolutely fills every crack of this denim. And then over time, this black coating is gonna fade away. It's gonna reveal the blue. And then when the blue is revealed, that'll fade to white and it'll just become a beautiful mixture of indigo and blue and white. And we have a faded version of it. Let me just go over here to the fade wall, come with me. And uh, I can show you here what a faded version of that looks like. So, this is actually my pair when I was a lot thinner, uh, but you can see how it fades from blue to black to white. It's got all those colors mixed in here. So you've got that, uh, that to compare. So check that out. And because uh, we couldn't just make these in jeans, we had to make it in a jean jacket as well. We also have the Sumi ink coated denim available in a denim jacket. So you can fade it out in denim jacket form. Two options. And that rounds up all of the new denim fabrics for men. I'm gonna cover two more uh, jackets. So we've got our, le our classic left-hand twill denim, a 13.75 ounce indigo selvage denim. Now we're doing it in a blanket line denim form. So you've got this classic blanket lined interior all the way through. You still have the selvage edge here visible on the sides. The, the lining goes all the way through the sleeves. Just a great, great pop of color on the inside and designed to keep you nice and warm and cozy for the fall winter season. And because we couldn't just do one, we did two. The solid black selvage also comes now with a blanket lining. So you've got this beautiful gray blanket lined option here as well. And of course you still have that selvage ID. You do miss out on the inside pockets, but uh, you still have the side pockets here uh, to, to use. So that's all the new denim options. I'm running out of breath. Give me a second and I'm gonna show you all the new shirts for Fall Winter 23. Okay, we're back. And right now I'm gonna tell you about the brand new Fall Winter 2023 men's shirt collection. We're gonna start off with this guy right here. This is the four and a half ounce lightweight uh, rinsed chambray classic look. This is something that we've run in the past before, uh, but not quite. We've actually done a little bit of a modification and you'll notice this across our entire shirt line is that now the buttons are more contrasting. In the past, we did a lot of tonal buttons, but I think the contrast buttons look a lot nicer. So you're going to see that going forward. So uh, anyways, this beautiful shirt, lightweight. I think everybody needs this in uh, at least a shirt like this in their wardrobe. So uh, we're going to run this as a kind of a core model. Um, next, We've got these kind of bandana print shirts in the brown and the black, kind of a floral Western kind of aesthetic. Sorry, good catch, eh? Um, 
Great to layer up. I think they're gonna look really, really cool under a jean jacket, even tucked in with like some slim jeans. So two great options here in our easy shirts for florals. And uh, now we get into like some really great fall options with the corduroy. And I just think these are beautiful fall options, beautiful fall colors. You've got the green, you've got the yellow, you've got the red. It's like a thin whaled corduroy. And uh, especially around holiday time, I think these are gonna do well. They're very, very soft and quite luxurious feeling. So uh, I'm gonna enjoy these quite a lot. Even just rolled, opened up and rolled up uh, with the sleeves rolled up and a t-shirt and some dark indigo jeans, any color here, I think it's gonna look great for the fall. So uh, excited for these options. Um, these next two, you might, they might be familiar because we often run these kimono patterns. Now they're back again. We've got the, the kimono scales and the kimono raindrops, but now this time they do have those contrasting buttons. These are always very successful for us. So we basically run uh, these traditional kind of kimono prints every season. Next up, another floral option in the black. So just a mo a mo another all over print shirt here for you. Uh, great option, black skinny jeans and this, real kind of rock star kind of look. And again, those contrasting buttons. You're probably gonna hear me say the word buttons a lot, but uh, everyone likes that word, buttons. Okay, next, flannels. Four great solid color flannel options. Now, some people think that flannels have to be checked. They don't have to be checked. You know, a heavier weight brushed material is also considered a flannel. So we've got four great options here. And the navy, the green, the beige, and the black. Just heavyweight, brushed, and comfortable. Very, very cozy for those cold weather months. And next, I think these are, these are my favorites. I have another favorite too, but these are really special. Heavyweight brushed flannels. I love heavyweight brushed flannels, especially in these warm tones for the fall that uh, we've got the beige, we've got the yellow, and we've got the red. We don't do a lot of yellow flannel, so I'm, I'm happy to have that one in the collection. We've got the classic red, and uh, you can just see the detail here. It's so beautiful. And uh, like you've got these great gradient tones throughout. Heavyweight, soft, brushed, super comfortable. So uh, next, another core denim shirt. This is the rinsed denim. Now we've done this shirt in the past, this one's coming back. You're gonna see it in a lot of different options, but now it has the contrast, like bone style buttons here. So uh, rinsed denim, and it's got this great texture to it as well. If you look really close, you can see it's kind of knotted and slubby. Cool. Next, we have the new work shirt. Now, I'm wearing it right now. Our work shirt fit has been updated. In the past, our work shirt was quite trim, and if you wanted to layer with it, you might have had to size up one or two. But when I initially came up with the work shirt, I really wanted it to be more of a layering shirt on its own. So now it is. I'm wearing a medium. I basically always wear a medium. Now, when you get it right off the bat, it's big enough that you could layer a hoodie underneath. So I've got it that way. You can see it's quite wide and it comes in sizes from double extra small all the way to double extra large. So it's a unisex fit. You can size down if you wanna wear it a little bit trimmer or just size it your normal size, your usual size, and it'll be oversized right off the bat. So uh, our new work shirt fit has been updated and we've got four options here with the brushed flannels. You got the beige, which I'm wearing right now. You've got uh, the red and the blue, like the Montreal Canadian style uh, color right here. And then you also have this awesome navy one, which I think is gonna pair perfectly with uh, blue jeans. So three great flannel options in the brand new work shirt. And you'll notice we've got the big uh, metallic buttons on here as well. Okay, now the last work shirt option is that same rinsed denim. So you have it here, that classic rinsed denim, same big buttons in the black with that textured wash denim look. So a great uh, work shirt option here. And then we have kimono shirts. Kimono shirts in those two kimono print patterns that we had available earlier in the easy shirt. So you've got the kimono scales and you have the kimono rain. So just an over shirt with the drawstring uh, on the front, just a casual look. I'm gonna show the denim one. Just been showing this fabric off uh, a little bit. So you know this one, this is the rinsed denim. 
and then we've got the crazy one. And this is not just crazy on its own, this is one of the craziest fabrics we've ever used, ever, for anything. This is real Sakiori denim. And we've done a Sakiori denim before, but we've never done a Sakiori selvage denim. So this is fabric woven from fabric. This isn't woven from yarn. If you take a close look, you'll see that it's made of strips of indigo fabric and, and white fabric. And this is woven in a traditional denim twill and selvage. Needless to say, this is absolutely the craziest fabric. Is it absolutely? Anyways, it's definitely up there uh, that we've ever used. We wanted to make this in jeans, but it wasn't suitable for jeans just because of things like that. But uh, it certainly makes a really, really cool kimono shirt. So if you like weird and unusual fabrics, this is definitely the one to get. So this real Sakiori selvage, it is pricey. Sorry about that, but uh, if you know anything about construction, you'll understand. So that's the last new shirt. Give me a second to reset and I'll show you the new knitwear. So, and we're back. All right, I'm gonna run through the knitwear real quick for you guys. A lot of classic items that, you know, you, you can expect from us like uh, new pocket tees. So we take our circular knit tees and we apply a lot of the same uh, shirt fabrics uh, on them and as a contrasting pocket. This is the same pocket you'll find in the new blanket lined uh, black, solid black selvage denim jacket. And then we have the, uh, the floral print and the classic flannel here, the heavyweight brush flannel. Uh, and then you'll see those kind of repeating here in some other colors as well. So we've got the gray with the uh, blanket line the gray with that uh, rinsed denim, which you'll see very often. It's one of my favorite fabrics. The, uh, the heavyweight uh, flannel in the blue, and then that red again in the gray. In the navy, we've got the bandana print. You've got the kimono print and uh, another uh, flannel. And lastly, in the white, we've got the circular knit white with the bandana print the floral print, and the kimono print. I think I'm missing a sample because there's another denim shirt. Anyways, you'll find it out there if it exists. And lastly, we're adding a new color to our uh, knitwear range. So it is the oatmeal. We have it right here in the pullover hoodie, which I'm wearing. We have it in the crew neck, and we also have it available in the zip hoodie. And this is in addition to all the, the plethora of colors that we have available in our knitwear line. So this is the core collection, a lot of great options here, just some new colors. Okay, uh, give me one more second, and I'll show you the new ladies collection. And we're back, and I'm gonna show you guys the brand new ladies fall winter 2023 collection, and we're gonna start off with this one right here. This is not just the most hardcore jean we've ever made for ladies, but I think the most hardcore jean for ladies ever. This is the 20 ounce elephant denim, now available in the classic and arrow fits. So two straight leg options for you. 20 ounce, super heavyweight, broken twill. And you know, we've had a lot of call outs from our lady customers to do heavyweight, hardcore options, and now you've got it. So uh, that beautiful red line selvage ID. You can see that zigzag kind of weave in here as well. Great to, great to flip up the cuff. You know, the, uh, the elephant 11 had a beautiful uh, kind of zigzag cuff and uh, you get the same kind of, similar kind of static effect with the broken twill. But uh, anyways, ladies option, I can't wait to see what you guys do with this one. So available, like I said, in two fits, classic and arrow, and uh, it also has that super thick veg tan leather patch. So uh, now we also have the kimono print denim option available for ladies. This fabric is nice and soft, 12 ounce weight or 12 and a half ounce weight, not particularly rigid at all and you get that beautiful kimono print interior. And like I mentioned before, the print here on the sample was incorrect. It'll be more navy based. I'll show a photo and uh, you'll see that it's a great cuff flipper here as well. So uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of this fabric and I'm glad that we also have it in our ladies collection available in the classic and the arrow fits as well. Now, the next new fabric in the ladies line is the solid black comfort stretch. This is uh, coming off of the heels of the blue comfort stretch option. So just like in the men's, we had the blue comfort and then following up with the solid black edition of it. So black on the inside and the outside and just incredibly stretchy on 
the uh, horizontal plane. So it stretches out with you, snaps back to shape every time and feels like real denim. We're very, very excited for this fabric. It's gonna be a running fabric for us. So that is the solid black comfort stretch in addition to the blue comfort. Okay, now we've got uh, some great shirt and top options here. And the first thing is the wrong color, but it is the right fit. This is the new crop jacket. It is available in the army twill. We have it in the navy here for production. It will be available in the green. We do have the matching trousers, the work pants that go with it. So this is the correct color. This is the correct fit and there'll be a set. And this is just gonna look awesome with a pair of jeans. Uh, you know, uh, this is gonna look great with a pair of jeans. I was gonna mention the pockets. It's got these flat pockets like you'd see on like vintage denim jackets. Fits really high. Fantastic option here. So uh, next, the classic chambray. So uh, just like we have it in the men's with the contrasting buttons, now available in the country shirt for ladies. And then we have the bandana prints here as well. So uh, you can go matchy matchy with the guys and uh, a lot of great options for that. And speaking of matchy matchy for the guys, the rest of the fabrics are also pulled from the men's collection. We have the band collar shirts. These are made in that heavyweight brushed flannel. So super, super cozy for the fall. We have it in the green, we have it in the black, and we have it here in the beige. And then lastly, we have what I'm wearing and like what I mentioned earlier, the work shirt is in that unisex fit. So we have it available in that red, blue, and beige. So you can size all the way from double extra small all the way up to double extra large. If you wanna go matchy matchy with the, you know, the guys or the girls, you can do that. We've got a lot of great options to do that uh, in the collection. And I think that wraps up everything. If there's anything I forgot or if there's anything you'd like to see, uh, let me know in the comments section below and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, take care everybody.